Okay, so I remember when this skin came out and everybody was off, I'm gonna be real with you. But nearly two years later, Respawn have come back and fixed this skin. And honestly, this kind of lays the pathway for skins to be a lot more worth the money in the future. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's about the Niflheim Hunter skin. I'm probably saying that wrong. You may remember when this was put in the store a year and a bit ago, it was advertised as having a white raven and everybody was like, yeah, I can use this raven on my banner poses or emotes or even in game. And when they got the skin, none of that worked. They could only see it when they were selecting the skin. But with the Spellbound Collection event in a weird turn of events, Respawn went back and fixed the skin. We actually saw them reference this in the patch notes that said they went back and fixed some stuff and it's definitely fixed to some degree. Now with the skin with the white bird, the white bird shows up in emotes in game and in the lobby and also poses which is absolutely huge which if you remember was two things it didn't do before. And honestly the fact that Respawn went back so late, nearly two years on to fix this, gives me the idea that they're fixing this one up so in the future they can add more Bloodhound skins with Raven skins as well. So basically making the Bloodhound skins more worth it and potentially, I beg you here Respawn, Legends with Ability skins. So for example, Fuse's ultimate could carry over his skin to the first person model. That's just a hope though. But for now, the Bloodhound Raven skins are basically going to act like Bastion from Overwatch. And weirdly enough, when I went to search that on the internet, this art came up. What the hell is up with the Overwatch community? Jesus Christ. But anyway, do you think this is a good idea from Respawn? And also, subscribe for more bird skins in the future.